This is Marathon Boats, Marathon Power Boats Limited, uh, Q48 being launched in the London Boat Show. First time in uh, Northern European waters, uh, built in uh, Italy, uh, out of Kevlar and uh, Vionester resin, vacuum fused in a factory in Ancona. And uh, here we are launching this at the London Boat Show. This is the cockpit of the Q48 Marathon powerboats. The leather work you see here is the same trimmer from Ferrari. The dashboard, as you can see, is quite, um, quite uh, almost like a luxury sports car. We have a two-speed ZF gearbox. Um, your throttle's over there, or the trim and the tabs. Um, we've got a single seven-inch uh, chart plotter there for the, for the driver. Fully adjustable wheel, electrically operated seats. Um, you've got your hi-fi control. You've got everything you want from a, like a luxury power car, but this time in an ultra-fast day boat. So the inside of the uh, Q48, we've got a nice big double berth cabin, double berth up for it. We have the full galley, sink, and hot plate. We've got the fridge there. And of course, you've got all, insure, all important shower and toilet inside. We've got the TV, the sound system, everything that a boat of this size, what you expect. More of a weekender for a couple, but as I tell most people, you get from A to B nice and quick and then you can stay in a five-star hotel. Boats can be fully customised, so if you've got a particular um, layout, particular style of finish, we can do exactly what you want as the customer. It's fully adjustable. Um, you've got the shower toilet in there. Um, this one is fully equipped with shore power, so you've got mains, th mains throughout, so 220, 50 hertz, but again, whatever you, the customer want, we can do for you. So here we have the business end, uh, we have racing tabs, a uh, single uh, hydraulic actuator, mechanical gauge. We have our trimmable uh, stern drive, uh, it's trimmable in an up and down plane with a uh, herring five bay plop. We used to make our own props out of a solid billet of steel, but it took five days on a CNC machine to machine one propeller, so that's not very cost effective. We have the air cavitation um, tube, so for the brain cheery effect, this prop could spin up and then can bite quicker. I'm told it's about eight seconds to get this boat onto the plane. The exhaust from the engine, and on this particular version, we've got a, sing a single steerable rudder. Um, there are various options. We have twin steerable, and we have different drive options with the full uh, steerable stern drive and then the Arneson type um, legs which are, are more common than what probably people will know. So um, the anchor system again we've designed in-house all blended into the mould of the shape of the hull so the lines are not broken up and just as efficient as a, like a sand uh, wedge anchor. Um, steps as you can see here are slightly different to a lot of boats. What we found by trying different ideas that by filling, or not filling, but putting a leading edge on the side of the boat, without that, what would happen, the water would come in and start creating an eddy. So when you start again on the plane, it's absolutely going against the step. By putting this uh, leading edge in, it makes it more flowable, if that's the right word, for the water to flow past, therefore not creating error and making the step more efficient at work. Uh, the aeration holes, so we have the air intakes, uh, and then we have the holes under the hull. The idea of that is to get air under the hull to reduce the friction of the hull, makes it go faster and more efficient. We've been led to believe through research that with the steps and with the aeration holes, you're looking at between 10 and 15% more efficiency on the hull.